Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a zombie horror film, The Dead, Part 2, India. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins after the zombie events of the first film, which happened in Africa. We're introduced to the country of India, with a shot of some village residents going through a regular day. The scene shifts to the city, which is shown to be very busy and hectic. Now, a cargo ship arrives from Africa, and then we see the workers collecting their pay before going back home. However, one of these workers looks ill and is revealed to have been bitten by a crazy woman, mostly a zombie. The others don't think much of it, so the infected worker is simply bandaged and sent to his village. Meanwhile, the radio talks about the zombie disease, which had originated in Africa. After this, we see the infected worker struggling to maintain consciousness as he comes back home. He seemingly passes away, and it leads his family to grieve his loss. The mother cooks food for her children, while an orphan boy named Javid eats a meal in the open ground. However, something ominous comes close, as the family notices a mysterious figure approaching them. The figure is revealed to be a zombie, and he proceeds to infect some of the villagers, after which, the zombie army takes over the entire village by attacking all its residents. The next day, we see an engineer named Nick is working on a windmill in Rajasthan. He gets done with work and meets his friend, who asks Nick to help him out with some female tourists later. Nick simply says no because he has a girlfriend, and then he drives away. Then we are taken to a busy hospital in Mumbai, where tons of patients are being rushed in thanks to zombie bites. One of the patients in this hospital is revealed to be Nick's soon-to-be pregnant girlfriend, named Preggy. Nick tries to contact Preggy's phone, but is unable to get through to her. As he makes an escape in his car, he also spots a man acting panicked. Nick finally gets a call from Preggy, who reveals that she's pregnant with their baby. Nick is happy to hear this, but Preggy tells him that her father will never allow her to go to America with him after he's done with his contract in Rajasthan. She also mentions that there's a lot of chaos happening around her, as the cops and the military are taking over the city to control the recent attacks. Nick spots a zombie eating a man next to the windmills, so he asks Preggy to go back home. Preggy spots an ugly zombie and is about to be attacked, but luckily her dad takes her inside. He reveals that Preggy's mom has also been bitten, but doesn't know that there's a zombie invasion. He scolds Preggy for avoiding her work at the hotel and says that he knows she's been seeing Nick. Preggy gets a call from Nick, who tells her to wait for him, but her dad takes the phone and tells Nick never to see his daughter again. After that, Preggy's dad tells her to go ahead with an arranged marriage with a family friend because he feels that a foreigner like Nick will only toss her aside after playing with her hormones. Preggy is about to reveal that she's pregnant, but suddenly, her dad notices some zombies attacking an innocent woman outside. On the other side, Nick calls up his colleague and tries to get some information about what's going on. However, he loses the signal, so he gets into his jeep and drives away. Suddenly, Nick crashes into a zombie, but thinks that he has killed a human, so he checks up on the body. The zombie comes back to life, and then Nick has to kill a few more zombies, who suddenly attack him. He uses a hammer to get the job done, and then he rushes toward his friend, without knowing that he's being eaten by a zombie. Nick reaches the friend's office, but finds his dead body, and is then attacked by the zombie that ate his friend. He kills it, and calls Prey to tell her that he's coming for her and their baby. Unfortunately, her dad listens in on the conversation and breaks the phone, after which he slaps his own daughter. Now Nick talks to his colleague, who tells him that he's got him a flight out of Delhi, so that he can escape the zombie apocalypse in India. However, Nick doesn't want to betray his girlfriend, so he asks his colleague to help him out with her. The colleague tells him he shouldn't risk so much for a local girl, and advises him to rush toward Delhi. But Nick tells him he isn't going to give up on his girlfriend, so he loads up a gun and gets ready for action. However, the friend turns into a zombie and attacks Nick. After some trial and error, Nick is able to kill him, and then he tries to make an escape. However, he is surrounded by zombies all over the place and has to think fast. After barely managing to hold off the zombies, Nick gets to the top of the roof with an electric paraglider. A tense sequence follows as Nick flies off the roof and lands in between tons of zombies. However, he manages to fend them off and flies away unharmed. Unfortunately for him, his paraglider runs out of power, and he makes a crash landing into a tree. Meanwhile, the apocalypse gets worse, as the village is overrun by more bloodthirsty zombies, and Javit makes an escape. At night, Nick's injuries cause his blood to drop to the ground, and it attracts all the nearby zombies. They try to get a hold of Nick, and he manages to fight them off. It turns out that Javid is actually close to Nick, because Nick can hear him calling out for help when he's attacked by zombies. Luckily, after an intense battle with the zombies, Nick manages to save Javid. 
Now Preggy's dad hears the military attacking the zombies outside and tries to check it out through his window. He gets attacked, but is able to save himself in the nick of time. Javid tells Nick to take him on his journey to Mumbai. Nick isn't ready for the responsibility, but Javid reassures him that he knows India like the back of his hand. Nick reluctantly decides to take Javid along with him, and they look for a car. They eventually find a place with a car, but Javid gets attacked by an old zombie lady who likes to harass the muscular men. Nick saves him from the annoying zombie lady and also dresses up Javid's wound caused by a cut. The two find the keys and try to start the car, but it takes them a while, so Nick has to kill some more zombies before they make their escape. Meanwhile, Prady watches on as her mom's condition grows worse. Nick needs some food and weapons to counter the zombies, so Javid gives him a quick detour. As they pass through the devastation around them, Nick reveals that he's going to Mumbai to save Preggy and their baby. Javid also reveals that he's never met his parents and has been solo right from the start. They bond with each other on their trip and also notice the other survivors, trying to make their way out of the infected areas. Soon after, Nick and Javid run into a checkpoint where the military men are checking every vehicle for infected passengers. They find a bitten man inside a bus and take him outside for his execution, where the man's wife begs them to spare her husband. Nick realizes that the military men might shoot Javid because of the bandage on his hand, so he decides to take another route, even though the roads are rougher there. The team manages to escape the gunfire and carry on with their journey. However, they run into a truck on a narrow road and are about to get pushed aside. Zombies appear once more, so Nick takes Javid out through the car window, and they leave after the car gets thrown off the road. They reach an abandoned house surrounded by monkeys and decide to rest for a bit. They drink some water, and then Nick notices a Jataka symbol on wall. Javid explains that this symbol relates to a tale between a rich man and a poor woman who became pregnant with his baby, which turned to anger the elders. This eventually led to the rich man and the poor woman being buried alive inside a tomb. However, when the tomb was opened years later, no bodies were found. The team continues their journey, and they find a hunter's lodge, but Nick feels suspicious about the place. Javid leads the way around the lodge and spots a stairway, so Nick follows him to the roof. However, more zombies appear and enter the lodge. To make things worse, the team doesn't find any supplies or weapons. They do find some bike keys, so Nick acts fast to fend off the zombies with his bare muscles, before taking Javid on the Tesla bike to run for their lives. As the team resumes their journey, Preki's dad continues to keep a watch on the zombie activity outside. Things get tricky for the team at night when they have to avoid zombies in the middle of the forest. They come across a truck, so Nick checks it out. He spots a zombie inside it, so he decides to continue on the bike. Preggy's dad is unable to understand why people are coming back to life as zombies, and it causes Preggy to doubt everything that she has been taught as a child, especially the idea of rebirth and karma. She questioned her dad's ideals, but he says that these zombies don't have any souls, so they cannot be considered to be humans. He continues by saying that this might be a test that mankind has brought upon itself due to its endless sins. As the team continues on their way, Javid abruptly asks Nick to stop the bike. He goes to a tree and plucks its fruit, after which he offers it to Nick. As they enjoy a meal, Nick talks about how he was with a girl a few years ago, but panicked and ran away after learning that she was having his baby. This led her to get rid of the baby, and she ended up falling sick after that. In the middle of this chat, a random man appears with his random figure and steals the Tesla bike from them, explaining that he has to go save his kids, using the bike a luxury brand. With no other option, they resume their journey on smelly foot, but Nick senses zombies following them through sound and possibly their stinky foot smell. At night, they find another abandoned house and decide to spend the night there. Javid sets himself into a bed while Nick tries to secure the room. He accidentally steps on a broken vase, but manages to lock the room before going to bed. Javid asks him why he panicked when his first girlfriend got pregnant, and Nick replies that it was because he was scared. Later, Nick is woken up by the sounds of zombies outside and notices some of them peeping at him like the peeping Tom. He tries to ignore them and falls asleep, after which he has a nightmare about being trapped inside a room. Then, he has a more pleasant dream where he's practicing hormone yoga with Preki. The next day, the team runs away from the zombies, but Javid takes some extra time to take his toy from the room. Later, Javid explains that this toy is a symbol of love because it was made by his mother and father. He also talks about a shorter route to Mumbai, but it will be difficult if on their smelly foot because the zombies are sensitive to smells. They then notice a rescue chopper, but get attacked by zombies. So Nick wrestles his muscles with the zombies, while Javid escapes into the chopper. 
However, there's no more room to take Nick in the chopper, so he promises to find Javit when he reaches Mumbai. Now, Preggy checks up on her mom, who is growing worse. The mom talks about a dream she had, where she was young and in love. That's when she reveals that she was actually in love with another man, when her marriage was arranged with Preggy's dad. The mom tells Preggy that she should follow her heart, and then she passes out. Elsewhere, Nick continues his mission, and comes across a woman stuck inside a car with her child. Nick tries his best to get them out, but zombies start to come near them. All hope seems lost, so Nick ends up shooting both of them, so that they don't get eaten by zombies. This severely messes with Nick's head, so he goes crazy, and shouts at the zombies in a chicken voice before leaving. He struggles to keep up with this journey, and passes out on the ground, with zombies closing in on him. However, he remembers Preggy, and regains the motivation to save her. Nick finds some of the fruits that Javit was telling him about, so he eats them for refreshment. After that, he comes across the Tesla bike that was stolen from him earlier. He also finds the random man, who was being eaten by the same kids he had come to save. Nick shoots the zombie kids, and takes the bike keys from the body. The random man reawakens as a zombie, but Nick manages to get to the bike, and carry on towards Mumbai. After a long and eventful trip, Nick finally enters Mumbai, which is shown to be under heavy attack. Preggy's mom bids her final farewell to her husband, and passes away in time. He hugs her out of sorrow, with tears in his crocodile eyes, but he fails to realize that she has also become a zombie. Nick rushes through the chaos, as even the military soldiers are being killed by the zombies. He luckily manages to lock himself inside a house, after getting an AK-69 rifle. Meanwhile, Prady sees that her dad has been bitten, but still runs into his zombie arms for a hug. Nick manages to shoot tons of zombies, but runs out of ammo, so he rushes toward Prady's house. He makes it inside after a brief struggle, and is emotionally reunited with his girlfriend. However, he notices that her dad has been bitten. Preggy's dad finally accepts Nick as his daughter's savior, so he shakes his hand, and bids Preggy a zombified goodbye. Now Nick and Preggy run away from the danger zone, and soon reach a refugee camp. Nick looks around the camp, hoping to find Javid, and eventually meets him. While this happens, the woman from the bus earlier notices Javid's toy and seems to recognize it, thus revealing that she is Javid's biological mother. Unfortunately, some fighter jets arrive and start bombing everything, including the refugee camp. They evade the debris but get trapped inside a room, just like what Nick saw in his nightmare. Now, Nick thinks back to the story told by Javid about the rich man and the poor woman whose bodies were never found from their tombs, indicating he's planning their escape tactics. The movie ends with Nick looking directly at us, leaving their fate ambiguous. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.